Foster's Game reviews from inside a car wash. Well, today I'll be talking about my unboxing of the left Joy-Con. Uh, it arrived back, um, and I shall be doing an unboxing and seeing if it works. So, without further ado, you can see I'm in a car wash. <laughs> without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox the video. Unbox the video. Unbox the Joy-Con. Right, uh, this video comes a little bit late, um, as my wife gave birth uh, last week uh, to our little daughter, Willow. So, as of now, uh, I am a father of three, and this is the unboxing of the left Joy-Con. So, as you can see, Nintendo, naughty Nintendo, don't actually do their own repairs. It's done by Repair Tech. Hmm. Naughty Nintendo. Hmm. No in-house uh, repairs there. A nice little box, though. I have to say, it's a nice uh, Nintendo box. Nice keepsake. Um. <clears throat> so, as you can see, I've blotted out our address for obvious reasons. And let's get into the box. So, let's have a look. Uh -huh. we, uh, we can see it comes in a lovely Nintendo box. It's a nice little keepsake to put things in. Uh, just to put on the shelf as a display to say, I've got something from Nintendo. Um, yep, yeah, let's take it out of the packet. So, as you can see, it's double wrapped. Hmm, nice little bit of red bubble wrap, followed by a cheap plastic bag. Well, not complaining. Mm hmm Okay, yep. Seems alright. Everything checks out legit. And it still even has the original battery charged. As you can see. Uh, okay, nope, it hasn't got my, any of my information on this letter, so we shall continue. Uh, as you can see, it's an official letter from Nintendo, uh, saying that they've returned my item, uh, fully repaired. Let's just take a closer look. Mm -hmm. A quick read through, it's just uh, stating that it's been repaired and it's been sent back to me. Uh, blah, 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 we don't read all the boring stuff. But the good stuff we do want to read, and as you can see, it says we have an extra 12 months warranty as of the date received back here. And let's see what else is on this. Uh, <coughs> yes, uh, I can see a number on there. It does say uh, Nintendo help, help, um, yes, the. the uh, help desk people. Uh, they, If you ring this number uh, they'll put you in the right channels and you will get it fixed with an extended warranty. Or just go on their website. Whichever's easiest. <laughs> right, the taste test. Hmm, not literally, but to open the packaging with one hand. Yay, this is so much fun and I'm finding it very difficult to film and open a packet at the same time. But, nevertheless, let's continue. There we go. Yes. Mm, looks alright. Feels alright. Yep, yeah, it's all good. Um, oh, battery still lights up. Still powers. That's obviously from my original charge. Oh, and let's have a look. Hmm. Okay, what's this? I can see there's some sort of scuffing, maybe? Maybe it's actually been fixed and someone's been inside. Let's have a closer look. Well, under closer inspection, there's definitely some sort of scuffing going on. So there's obviously a screwdriver being in there. So, but I'm not worried about that. I mean, that's cosmetic. It's very, very minute. I've had to zoom in on this just to see uh, how, just to see it this close. But other than that, all is good. Well, after inspection, I've 
put the Joy-Con in. Um, oh, it's gone off. Is it good? Come back. Come, Jack. Oh, there we go. So I put the Joy-Con in. Uh, give it a blast, and so far as I can see, it's working beautifully. It's working better, so much better. It's just like it. Like a hot knife through butter, so to speak. Um, I'll just show you it running. There we are. Responsive as it should be. I've got on the wrong screen. I don't want to go on that. Yeah, we'll go on here. Uh, we'll go on that one. Yeah. I mean, I'm testing it just for an option screen, but it wouldn't do this before. It'd lag. I'd go left. You know, I'll keep clicking left. And then it'd play catch up. It'd go, it'd jump across. Or oh, done something really silly, but uh, constantly connecting, uh, constantly had an issue. But it seems like the problem's been resolved, which I'm happy about. So I can now continue playing Zelda. So, just a quick recap. All I can suggest is contact Nintendo, send it off. It comes back. Uh, apart from the little, very very tiny. Um, you can tell that they've been inside because obviously like I said before in the video there's a scratch so but other than that it's, you, you can't tell um, I, I had to zoom in on the camera uh, so all I can say is get it sent off and there you go it comes back within about 10 days and you uh, you still get a full covered warranty so if you think of it yourself you're making a big mistake Get it sent off to Nintendo, and you'll get it back in one piece with an extended warranty. So on that note, keep gaming.